Hello my friends, after watching this video, you will be able to create whiteboard animation videos for YouTube, TikTok, Facebook or any other domain. You will do all this using a totally free, very easy program. I will show you how to install the program, create video, add sound and finally how to export the video as mp4 or any other format. Now to download the program, search for Mango Whiteboard Animation Maker and select the official website and download the free version of the program. The file size to download is 220 megabyte. Now we will install the program. Next, I accept. Select where you want to install the program. Next, I will leave create a desktop shortcut and install and finish. Now to create a new video, click new empty project. Now select the video direction horizontally for YouTube or vertically for YouTube shorts, reels or TikTok. This is the interface of the program. Here we have a simple menu and this is the work area. Down here we have the timeline and from the right panel we can insert text, images and other objects. Now let's add our first text. Select the font color, the font size and the font type then click add text. Or select any type from here add text I will change the text welcome to my first whiteboard video now double click if you want to change the text and if you click the pencil icon you will see the text format tools you can resize your text and use other tools in the right side you will find other tools to change and format the text if you click font type you will see recently used it text font and to use the text font installed in your computer you click on local you can change the word spacing and line spacing shadow text effect and other tools you can move the text element across the work area manually you can rotate the text and resize and also you can do this using the action info window moving on to the most important part which is the timeline every element you enter whether it is a text or an image you will see it in the action line this is the text we entered as you can see the timeline is numbered in seconds and this is the entrance effect time for the text this does not mean that the text will disappear after two seconds it means that the text will completely appear after two seconds now let's move the text to the top and insert an image move to the image field you can use the images downloaded with the program like this image and you can use your own images click add local image and insert any image from your computer you will notice that inserting any image with a background is not a good choice let's see how to remove the background of any image open google and search for remove background and select this website now upload your image select the image and download the new image now I will insert the new image image add local image downloads and this is the new image you will notice that the background is removed to delete any text or image just click the image click delete on the keyboard or right click and select delete object until now we have not seen the handwriting effect to apply the handwriting effect to the text select the text and move to action info window and select entrance effect move to with hand action and select 
hand drawing or hand writing click confirm and done there are many great entrance effect to use let's choose another entrance effect you can select with no hand action or with hand action I will select circle and confirm and this is the effect also you have to learn how to apply the exit effect for any item select the image or the text right click select add action select exit effect and also you can select with no hand action or with hand action confirm now this is the exit effect of the image play this is the image appear and this is the exit effect to move the exit effect next to the entrance effect we need some empty place here click cut action and paste it here also you can change the duration of exit effect now what if you want to answer another object at the same time move the plate head to the correct time and select add text or add image or here I will add a decoration I will add this item here you can see that the two element will appear at the same time and you can choose a different entrance effect for each element now I want to remove all these elements outside the work area to start my next page or next slide so we need a new camera item click the camera icon above the timeline and select plus camera or add camera with hand action I will select the push up effect this is the new camera effect I will move it here right after the last image play now you will see that the hand move up all the elements now we can start working with the second slide we can add any item but what if you want change the background of the second slide move down to the background line from here you can show or hide the background line select the background line and from here click add background now insert any background and close the window and you can select any transition effect for the new background now let's hide the camera line and the background line and we will move to a great tool in this program which is the caption line I will put the translation of the first text in French click add write the text and click save now you will see down here the caption of the text bienvenue dans ma première vidéo whiteboard now let's see how to add sound to our video I will hide the caption line and show the sound line if you click the plus sign you can use add local sound if you have any recordings or music you want to add from your computer to the video or you can click the microphone icon to record your voice directly and another great tool you can add a sound using the text-to-speech tool write your text select the language and select any character and click confirm and this is the recorded voice let's play it from here welcome to my first withboard video and from here you can see more control tools for the sound recorded and to use more edition tools for the audio 
or the sound right click and select edit sound and here you will have more control tools now the default time of the video is 20 seconds if you want to add time click the sign plus this will add more seconds and from here you can maximize and minimize the timeline and I will show you more objects you can use in your video click the show characters line click add characters select any character and select the moving image of this character and click play to see this character another object you can add click shape and insert any shape and another object you can add in your video go to text and select call outs and add text in call outs and finally to export your video as mp4 go to publish select video next select the output folder location click publish and wait and done and this is the, your video in mp4 format welcome to my first whiffboard video and if you have any question write it in a comment and thanks for watching